Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our Lee Sung Woo career mode here, episode number two. We're still in the friendly stages of our career right now in the first season. Um, just, just wanted to go ahead and play out all the games and all the training sessions of this time frame because of, um, obviously I'm not going to be able to play until January 6th, uh, so I want to go ahead and try to get as many games in as possible and try to get that rating up as far as I can. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and try to hopefully get some goals in this game in the, or in this tournament rather as I said this is my like best opportunity to try to get some good goals and gameplay in with Barcelona um, so that they they remember that whenever I do come back into the team in January right so um, I did want to say thank you for the good response on the first episode of this series I hope everything stays well with this series um, I'm having a lot of fun playing it it's a little difficult for me to adjust to it but it's nice to have a little bit of a challenge so um, this game against Porto not really a lot going on as you guys see in the bottom left I'm still at a 6.0 rating not really much going on for me I wasn't really able to get into the game very much here at the end of the first half I kind of get a couple touches of the ball but nothing comes of it and we do go into the second half at a nil nil draw so um, you know, I'm really not being too involved with anything going in the squad. We keep scoring whenever I'm not on the field, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. We have a good opportunity here. I honestly thought if I was ever going to score, this is the opportunity. Keeper comes up with a good save, though, so we are not able to get our first goal here. I get one more opportunity. Ended up taking the shot a little early on my back foot, so, again, wasn't able to score a goal in this game. So... Um, I do end up taking myself off around the 65th minute as you guys are going to see this is kind of their last opportunity to score before I come off the field and Luis Suarez is going to replace me on the pitch. We do win this game as you guys are going to see I do get a strength attribute point for finishing the game with 50% stamina which was kind of the main reason I wanted to go ahead and take myself off when I did. Um, so we end up winning that game and moving on. So uh, just a couple training sessions we're going to go through here. I uh, wanted to go ahead and give myself the player boost for uh, my training in this uh, training session to try to get my rating up as much as possible. Um, I am going to obviously be training with the squad uh, throughout the first half of the season when I'm not allowed to be playing. I don't think I'm going to put it in the next episode. The next episode is also going to switch over to some live commentary because I do kind of want to get into it. I didn't really want to do it in these first couple episodes because um, they're just preseason tournament games and I just kind of wanted to set the foundation for this series so I wasn't too worried about doing that. So you guys can expect in the next episode we will be picking up in January uh, playing a few games hopefully with the Barcelona squad um, and possibly even looking at a loan move because it is going to be obviously the January transfer window. So who knows, I might be making a loan move if I'm still not comfortable with the squad. Because with the players I have around me, I feel like if I want the team to do well, I need to kind of take myself out of the game and just kind of be the facilitator in the squad. So uh, as of right now, assists I think make a lot more sense for me to be going after instead of um, trying to kind of force the situation with trying to get myself goals and trying to, I guess, be selfish so uh, doing the header and volley session here most of these training sessions are pretty easy um, obviously I pick them for for that reason alone you know I can just kind of get through them really quickly I don't really have to worry about stressing out trying to get the best uh, result out of it I will probably start making mixing in some different training sessions so that it doesn't get stale watching these over and over um, I end up simulating one of the other the training session at the end of the game so I probably will show you guys some and then simulate other ones uh, kind of haven't really figured out what format I want to do this series in it just kind of depends on how many games I'm actually going to be starting because I don't know how much Barcelona is going to start me in the main season right um, so with the opportunities that I'm being given I think obviously training sessions are going to be pretty big 
As you see, the dribbling session first try didn't really go very well. Ended up getting tackled by Danny Alves. As I said in the last episode, that that's kind of the hardest part about doing this drill is getting past Danny Alves without having enough pace to kind of do it. You have to find the dribble move that's actually going to help you the most in that situation. So, um, ended up hitting the pylon for like the first time since I've tried doing this training session. But lo lovely little uh, dribble past Danny Alves there, and we are able to complete this drill with an A rating. So training's been going well i as you see we're still at a 70 rated but i think we end up getting to about i think a 72 at the end of it just at the end of this episode so hopefully by january we can get ourselves up to about a 74 rating is kind of where i want to be um if there's a drill that gives me the most difficulty it's definitely this drill and i touched on it a little bit in the last episode um just kind of dis the deciding how i need to hit the shot and how much aim assist is really going to be there for me how much power i need to put on it kind of it, it changes with different players that you use right so even if i used a better player like messi his shot power is different and his accuracy is different so every drill feels kind of different depending on what player you're using so it is kind of taking me a little bit to adjust to lee um obviously the more i do them the better off i'll be and then the better results i'll be getting so um, in the time that you guys probably aren't going to see in that first season, I'll probably simulate uh, the good majority of the training sessions and uh, save or play some of the other ones. Like I said, I don't think I'm really going to show you guys what's going on. Um, you guys will see the progression I make at the start of the second season whenever I do uh, turn 18 as Lee Sung Woo. So um, just the through ball drill here, pretty easy, obviously, you know, nothing too complicated. Pass the ball through the cones, let your sh your player hit the ball. As long as they take a shot on, you get some extra points there, You don't, they don't have to score. So, um, these training sessions are pretty simple. Like I said, I do kind of want to switch them up a little bit. Try to, I definitely want to try to get his free kick taking up. Obviously, you guys have seen that I've been doing the basic free kicks. Um, I'll probably increase that to a little bit stronger of a, or more difficult of a free kick session so that I can get that free kick accuracy up. As of right now, it's at a 58 overall. Um, definitely want to try to get involved in the free kicks a little bit with the Barcelona squad at some point. So, um, especially if we are going to become the next Messi, I definitely want to make sure that we can get as many attributes as possible. So, I uh, still need to work on my acceleration and my drill, uh, dribbling so that I can increase my skill moves. The more I can get my dribbling up, the more I can beat players off of the dribble and actually increase my skill moves so that I can actually start beating players with skill moves. Um, all of that will kind of build on each other and hopefully we can get to up uh, to a four star rating is kind of where I want to set a lot. If I can get to five star rating, awesome, but four is kind of where I want to level out at. So after this training session, we do get four A's, one B, so we do come up to 71 rated and end up halfway to 72. So like I said, I do think I end up at a 72 overall. So our next game in the tournament is going to be against Torino. Uh, this is the semifinal of the tournament, I believe. On the other side of the bracket, it is um, Napoli and the name is escaping. Oh, Hoffenheim. Uh, and you, you guys will see what happens with that game. In this game, um, I wasn't really feeling too confident with the squad. We were conceding possession again in this game, which you guys are also going to see in the final. Um, we're, we're playing, it honestly feels like we're playing Barca B or even uh, Juve, uh, Juvenile A football which is the youth squad of Barcelona if you guys didn't know but they play a lot more counter attack and a lot more skill move based uh, football instead of actually playing a passing Barcelona type which is a little weird to kind of see if you guys do go and watch some of the games um, they, they focus a little bit more on personal uh, achievement that's how you see with Halilovic and uh, Lee Sung Woo and some of the other players in the squad they focus a little bit more on doing things themselves instead of actually passing not to say they still don't obviously I mean they, they play for Barcelona for a reason they are raised on the philosophy of the the fast passing so it still happens I'm not saying it doesn't but that's just kind of the way that the younger squad plays and it kind of feels like that's how we're playing here. It's almost like a Real Madrid type of uh, play style. 
which I like I said it's kind of getting me a little confused in how I'm playing um, not really comfortable with this counter attack play because that first game we were playing so much possession and playing so much passing that I got um, kind of just attached to that passing oriented gameplay instead of the counter attack so now trying to readjust with some of these lesser um, quality players I guess you could say it, it's throwing me off a little bit and it's kind of making it difficult for me to fully adjust to uh, to the squad so um, we do end up at a nil-nil draw as when I come off the field um, we do end up winning the game 1-0 I'm sure Suarez probably scored the goal or somebody on the team scored the goal so we do go into the final against Hoffenheim um, hopefully you know this is my last chance before the season starts before I'm, I have to sit the bench for um, what like uh, five months I think so definitely want to put in a good impression here um, Vidal ends up getting uh, the ball and just running down the field and scores a lovely goal for us to give us the 1-0 lead in the 27th minute. Unlucky I'm not involved in the goal, but at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not really too uh, too interested or too focused in me scoring all the goals. I just want the team to win right now um, until I can better progress my stats to actually take over the game, right? So as you guys see here, 73% possession for Hoffenheim, 23% for us. And that's what I mean. It feels like my team doesn't pressure the ball at all, as you guys are going to see. I kind of have to force my players and tell my players to attack the ball, to pressure the ball. And when we do, we get the ball back and then we play good passing football. But until then, the defense sits back, they let the team play however they want against them, and then we just counterattack when we actually get the ball. So it's been weird. Like I said, I haven't really fully adjusted to um, how the squad's playing. Instead of kind of playing that striker position, like I said, I have been playing more of like a center forward position and even a center attacking mid position. I'm kind of just falling back, just trying to be where the team needs me to be. Uh, so at the end of the first half, it is going to be a 1-0 uh, lead for us coming into the second half. Like I said, this is my last opportunity, so definitely wanted to put in a good impression. As of right now, I mean, even though I wasn't involved in that goal, I still have a good match rating so far. So... I'm still playing well for the squad, I'm still in form, we're doing well, but with 30% possession, I kind of felt like they were going to come back into the game, so I kind of wanted to take it upon myself to try to get something going with the squad. So here in the 60th minute, I actually get the ball and play a beautiful through ball to Iniesta, and he manages to slot that into the top right corner, past the keeper near post OP, so we do take a lead, I do get the assist. I end up diving through Iniesta for my celebration. Literally, my body goes through his, but uh, nonetheless, I do get my first assist with Barcelona in this career mode, so puts me in a good spirit, obviously getting that uh, assist to Iniesta as well. Um, playing with the big name players is always fun to do, so uh, we do take a 2-0 lead here, and that is how this game is going to end, at least for me. I think I play another... 10 or 15 minutes in this game because I did want to try to finish the game out but I do end up pretty low on um, stamina coming to the end of this game so you know just to not hinder the squad I figured I would come out with a I think I end the game with like a 7.0 rating yeah but um, it actually ends up jumping to like an 8 or a 9 rating at the end of the game once once it's official that we won the game. So I get a couple more touches here at the end, but uh, nothing really comes from it. They're pressuring me a little too much and my team is sitting too far forward and there's no real passing lanes for me to get into. So um, unlucky to not get a, another goal or another assist at the end of this game. So. Um, the game's actually going to end in a 4-0 victory after I come off. So Suarez actually manages to score two goals in the last, I guess, 15 minutes of this game. Five minutes of this game. Sorry, I didn't realize it stayed in the game this long. Um, I did ask for a sub like at the 65th minute, but the, the ball never went out of bounds. So we man I managed to stay in the game as long as I did, uh, just kind of off of sick luck. So here is my last opportunity I guess to score a goal um, trying to just pass the ball through and get into some passing lanes 
uh, there was there just wasn't enough players pushed forward. We were on defensive at this point, so um, the ball does go out there. I come off the pitch. Suarez comes in, and like I said, he scores two goals in two minutes. I do get man of the match, though, so that increases almost all of my ratings. Uh, obviously, you know, when you get man of the match for the first time, uh, all your stats jump up really quick. So you do see there, we do win the cup 4-0, so I kind of want to know what happened at the end of the game. I kind of wish I would have watched it to get those last two goals, So because I was kind of interested. I guess they probably went on ultra attack, and then we ended up just scoring a couple goals on them. Um, Voland ends up winning player of the competition even though we won. I end up making the news as Barcelona's new hero. Um, I do one more training session at the end of this episode, but like I said, I do not actually play it. I just go ahead and, or actually I do play it, but I don't, I don't end up showing you guys what I did. So uh, we do move up to a 72 overall rating, and that is how this episode is going to end. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next episode, I'll see you guys later.